Hello, this is Geotechlan, and today I'll be talking about Mastodon. So I've been using Mastodon for a good few months now, and let me tell you, it is amazing. So for those of you that don't know, Mastodon is a social network. It's technically considered a microblogging um, social network, very similar to Twitter. And the big difference is that because it is community funded slash nonprofit, and open source it's not gonna try to make millions off of you by data mining you invading your privacy filtering your timelines in a way that they see fit and best of all you won't be seeing ads on this platform and so it's been a while since i first talked about mastodon on my channel so i thought i'd give you insight into what's new here and so mastodon 2.8 is the latest version of this of this open source network here and a few things here one is that there's now polls so if you obviously wanted to ask your followers a question and have them vote on you know whatever it is is on your mind you can now enable that so that's pretty cool obviously this takes inspiration from twitter and this is now available you can now on your profile i guess have the ta the hashtags you most commonly use here featured hashtags so that's pretty cool like i guess i would put like linux open source onto my profile if you go down the landing pages for mastodon instances have been improved i'm gonna give you an example i have here Fostedon. I'm actually also on Fostedon, which I'll tell you more about in a bit. But this is what a typical landing page looks like. It's been simplified a bit. I think it's mostly good. You can discover users, see what's happening, try a mobile app. So this is really good about this. So we'll get into this later here. But anywho, the other thing that's different is that you can now manage your followers and followings or follows better. You can, you know, remove a few of them in batch. You can actually import and export your followers and your mutes and blocks. So that's pretty cool. That's just the power of the open nature. You can move to another instance and import your stuff. It also introduced Keybase, which is a proof system. I guess it's supposed to allow you to confirm your identity across the web. And um, I think that's mainly it here. I'm actually going to show you my profile here just because i wanted you guys to get a feel of how this looks if you've used it in the past few months it virtually looks the same here but i'm gonna go to my profile profile pages are a little bit different now hey look 38 linux 28 open source and yeah i mean nothing major has changed i guess just slight improvements in the overall look and feel and i think it's for the better i like it it's very minimalist and yet elegant so of course if you don't know what mastodon is or if you're not on mastodon definitely follow me on mastodon.social although soon i may be moving to fostedon and here's why um well i actually already have a fostedon profile but my thinking was okay if i'm on a, a bigger instance then you know I'll, I'll be able to connect with more people right but I actually do notice I get more responses on my like video posts on Fostodon. I think it's just because you know Fostodon is big enough. I mean, there's only like 4,000 almost users, but on the local feed or timeline, I think since we're all you know open source, you know Linux enthusiasts, I get more. Um, I connect more with people. So bigger is not always better in this case and the overall instance itself is updated pretty frequently you know when mastodon has a new version they update pretty fast so you're not really missing out on the new features but anywho a few other tools i would like to share here are the federation.info this shows you the entire uh fediverse here so mastodon is the the one similar to twitter and there's two million users already so it's getting pretty big and of course there's peer the video hosting alternative there's pixel fed and there's a lot more here and it's just good to kind of click through this and see what's going on here see who's who's doing what 
um, you know, you can join from all these instances here. So, you know, if you're obviously if you're watching my videos, you're probably a FOSS enthusiast or a gaming enthusiast. And there's always a an instance for you. Other than that, one other thing that I didn't really talk about when I first talked about Mastodon is the apps that are available. On Android, there's Tusky, there's Fetty Lab, and Subway Toot. Although I don't really use this one, I've only used Tusky and Fetty Lab. Tusky is only for Mastodon, and there's not that many features with Fetty Lab gets updated pretty frequently. Of course, if you're on iOS, there's three apps here. If you're on the web, there's an interesting web, I guess, interface for Mastodon that looks pretty much exactly like Twitter, if you're into that. Whalebird is more of a desktop application, works on Linux. There's a dev file, but if you're using like something like Manjaro, you can download through the Arch user repository. But this is mostly if you're man managing multiple accounts, which, you know, on desktop, I'm fine sticking with the browser because I really only would manage two at the most, my geotech land, my geopolitics Mastodon account. So. I don't really think I need the application, but it's there and it, it works. Other than that, these are all the new things with Mastodon. But yeah, you guys should join. You guys should follow me there. I'm more active on Mastodon. So sign up and follow me. You'll see a link to my channel or to my profile in the description below. And other than that, if you like this video and found it helpful, Please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.